So I'm starting off the general energy read and I'm using the uh, tea leaf tarot for that. And the first card is be careful, don't take any risks. So just proceed very, very cautiously with anything that you are doing at the moment. You've got the arrow over there, so you're on the right path regarding whatever aspect, uh, regarding some aspect of your life. So you are going uh, down your, your true life path at the moment. You've got the sun coming in over there. So this is happiness and well-being. So things are about to change uh, for the better. There's enlightenment coming. You're on the right path as well. You can see that sun as well in this particular card. But just be cautious. Be Proceed very carefully. Uh, you've got the bridge over there, successfully overcoming problems. So you have been able to sort through situations. You found alternate solutions. So where the bridge doesn't work, you can see this person's got a ladder there. Uh, so it seems like you know you found alternative solutions to any kind of problems you were facing. You've got the clouds over here. So any kind of you had temporary problems, <coughs> but you are have been able to successfully overcome those. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you've got the shark over here that says, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So just watch things. There's somebody around you that might not have good intentions. So just watch out of who you trust. Uh, you know, uh, there's somebody that might be there to con you. So just be careful. You've got the caterpillar card over there and things are not always, will not always be this way. A change is coming. So there's transformation. You're at the brink of, of, um, you know, something big coming your way, a big transformation for the better. And so you just need to hang in there, have a little bit of patience. This is talking about divine timing at play here. So happiness and well-being is coming your way. But with that caterpillar, it's just saying, uh, you know, just wait a little longer. Uh, things are about to change, uh, but you just need to hang in there. Bottom of the deck, you've got the king of pentacles over here, the nine of swords, uh, the fool. And um, below that would be the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like, you know, you've ended, you could have ended an old job uh, with that Ten of Pentacles, ended a financial situation, um, you know, left an old job and have you have made a brand new start somewhere else. Um, so some kind of financial situation that you were involved in, this could have even been a divorce or separation, you know, where there's some kind of financial uh, tie to this particular uh, situation. That seems to have come to an end, and you're making a brand new start. You've started from scratch. So this could be a, a, a divorce where you lost everything, and you've started again from scratch again. You've gone on your own path. This is about being very, very independent, following your own path, and making brand new starts, taking that leap of faith, getting, you know, jumping off the edge of the cliff. So regardless of what anybody else says, it seems like you've taken the plunge, and you've made a brand new start over there. You got the five of swords, so you seem to have left a situation that there was a lot of conflict, a lot of uh, problems in, uh, and you've walked away from it. You've taken, uh, you know, your ideas, your thoughts. You had to probably pack up and leave in a hurry, but whoever you were dealing with were very, very nasty. Uh, you know, they seem to have stabbed you in the back. There were things going on behind your back that you didn't even know about, and you've had to leave it behind and walk away. Uh, you know, you're recovering from things over there with that King of Pentacles. So you're making plans for the future at the moment, and you're trying to generate finances. So you're working on some kind of project to generate finances. And at the moment, you're getting into a state of financial stability, and you're trying to make plans to uh, accumulate wealth there. The King of Pentacles is your card, so you are getting to that point where you are um you know you are very responsible for your own financial well-being and you are concentrating and focusing on that money over there whatever project you're putting in you're putting it out on onto that international basis so you've been working on something there's been a lot of collaboration with people overseas but it seems like you're putting something out now you might be thinking about actually moving overseas or you might have been uh, you know going and starting a job overseas but you are there's some kind of global connection that's going on over here you've worked on a project and you're putting it out there to a lot of people so a lot of people are viewing it so it's not something that's very very local it's something that's reaching an international arena over there and it's about to generate a lot of money it's some kind of personal project as well so it's a maybe it's a business this looks like a business card over there with that nine of pentacles independent business card and you are now expanding on that global uh, front so whatever you're doing now you're undergoing that transformation where whatever you were doing that was very local is now expanding onto a global arena over there and you are making big plans there with that uh, king of pentacles uh you know so uh to bring in how you're going to rope in the money over there so it seems like this might be you know your own personal business where you are the ceo of that company and you're putting out plans and whatever you are doing you're sending it out now into the world and it's going to generate a lot of money so you've got the four of vessels so it seems like some kind of advice has come in for you uh you never thought about this before 
Uh, so it could be an offer that came in, but it seems like that was, it was some really good advice. You were, were working on something, but it seems like somebody's given you or made a suggestion to you or given you some pause for thought. And it's been a really good idea because you never thought about this. This is something about, you know, you're now starting to think outside the box. And maybe this is the reason why you're able to, to start this project out and put it out. You've certainly been working on making plans. So you've been planning for the last uh, a few months or you've been working on something. And you're not stuck anymore in this old project. It seems like, again, this is, you can see there's a lot of water. So it's something where you're going global. You're taking this uh, plan or whatever you started and you're expanding it. And you're expanding on that international arena over there. So something's going big over there and you're putting it out. Um, so where you were thinking or making plans, you are now going to be practical and be doing it. So it's coming into, it's manifesting at the moment. You've been working very, very hard. You've got that 10 of staves over there. So working on a lot of projects and you have had a lot of problems as well. So having to sort through a lot of issues and you've been, uh, you know, working on it alone as well. So it's been something of a somewhat of a backbreaking job it's, that you have been doing. Uh, but right, it's a right now, it's about to glow go global and it's about to generate a lot of finances. There's going to be an offer that comes in for you with that six of uh, vessels. So somebody bringing uh, some kind of suggestion, some kind of offer for you. They could even be giving you some good advice. But this to me looks like a new offer that comes in for you. Uh, that's going to be a very sweet offer, something really, really nice coming in for you over there. Uh, so going, uh, what's going on with you? You've got the three of vessels. So there's uh, a lot of... Um, connections that you'll be making, uh, making a lot more friends. There's a celebration of sorts over here. So either networking, getting together with people, meeting people, but also celebrating the success of this project that you are putting out over there. So it's going to be financial success. And this is altogether a really good success. Now, this could also be about you, you know, getting together with friends and family during this holiday period as well. But they're toasting something. So there's some kind of something that you have. And you can see she's not part of the toast. So somebody toasting you so people are recognizing your success in whatever it is you're doing you've got the queen of staves over here so you are working in something on that international front uh, with a lot of people there's something that people like about you very uh, attractive about you uh and it's it's you know very global because this queen of staves is something somebody that deals with this global uh, kind of travel and you can see there's a lot of pyramids in the background over there uh, so something and but still being very hands-on so she's still carrying the workload but she's doing a lot more travel there's a lot more freedom and there's a lot more authority as well so whatever this new project offer whatever this offer is it's going to bring you international recognition and fame uh, but you're going to still have to work on it so it's it's not like you can sit back and allow things to happen um, you know you're going to have to work pretty hard at it so watch the money as well it whatever you're doing is going to generate enough money for you to be able to put things away and, and still money is on the mind over there new projects on mind um, so you can string a lot of new projects or you can string you have a lot of ideas in your head about what you want to do and that four of pentacles is showing that you're trying to achieve this financial stability and security that you seem to have lost in the past now going into the future and the final outcome the page of pentacles got the wheel of fortune and the high priestess so the page of pentacles showing that that news is coming about a new project a new money whatever you are doing uh, you are now practically working with this new idea and money is coming in so still working on it but news about a new project a new job or good news coming in about your financial situation you've got the wheel of fortune which is bringing in that expansion as well this is a card ruled by jupiter and jupiter brings in this global expansion travel uh, you know uh, enlightenment uh, and uh, you know, you know, getting, making things bigger than they were. So whatever you're doing and working on is growing. It's not uh, decreasing. It's actually getting bigger, uh, you know, and you're going to have to make some kind of decision coming up soon over there. You've got that high priestess. And this is a thing about, uh, you know, relying on your own expertise, your own intuition, uh, and being very self-reliant as well. So you're going to be heading this and a lot of people possibly coming to you for advice and uh, knowledge or you have a lot of knowledge, uh, but there's some kind of decision that you're going to have to make. There might be some further study or training coming as, as well in with this card because she keeps the keys of knowledge. So there could be training or further study coming in, maybe learning coming in with this job. But whatever you're doing, it's just not local anymore you're going to it's like you're opening uh you know the doors are opened for you and you're going to be able to go global with that and people are you know admiring you as well 
because uh, you know they they hold the high priestess in high regard. Um, so it, it seems like whatever you're doing, you know, it's now starting to produce flowers in the cups. You can see it's starting to produce something really good. Whatever you're giving to people seems to be growing or they're appreciating it and they love it, uh, whatever you're doing. And, um, you know, it seems like there's new offers coming in there for you as well. And, uh, you know, you're going to be celebrating, getting together with new people, new friends, finding your tribe. Um, and whatever it is, you know, it gets out there and uh, there's a lot more. It, it goes really global. So, uh, you know, um, expanding to that interna international arena and it's going to be generating finances as well. So that's going to allow you to make some plans for the future as far as money goes. And it's going to bring you that financial stability as well. So pretty good. Um, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Wolf Pack. And the first card is Waste. So you cannot afford to create waste in your life. Take nothing for granted because you could experience sudden famine due to carelessness. So there's, it's important for you not to be careless with the money and make sure that you're still watching those finances carefully. You're coming through a period of, of a lot of lack. So, uh, you know, uh, if money comes your way, just don't go crazy. Just make sure you're saving some money as well. You've got lessons. So many lessons will be forced upon you at this time. Know that is only a cycle that will end Look um, look at all legal papers, a time for growth. You might decide to further your education. So there might be some study coming in. If you've got any kind of legal documentation that you have to sort through, make sure that you're reading it very, very carefully. And if you're going through a difficult cycle, this is now a time that that cycle is ending and new beginnings coming in for you. You can see that Wheel of Fortune is ending cycles. Uh, so you just have to wait. This is about, you know, difficulties are about to end there for you. And you've got friends over here. A friend is about to play an important role in your life. Nurture this friendship. A new friendship is coming in your, um, coming your way. A job offer from a good friend, a trip from a friend. Now that six of cups is also about meeting up with old friends or even job offer coming in from an old friend. So this could be an offer coming in from an old friend. Uh, this could also be about meeting, meeting new, you know, making friends or meeting new people as well. So somehow friends are playing an important role in both these cards, the six of vessels and the three of vessels. It's talking about friends coming in. So this is that period, you know, the holiday period where friends do uh, feature or family features quite prominently but you might be running to somebody from the past and they might make an offer to you could be a business offer it could be a good you know a, an offer for a good friendship but there's definitely something that they're going to be bringing to the table uh for you there and that's going to change your life quite a bit it's going to feature quite importantly in your life in the meantime make sure that you're watching your finances and just don't go overboard so uh this is from the um Archangel Power Tarot, and you've got the Peace card over here. So release the past. There's more enriching future waiting and or coming, and let go and let God. So about time to let go of the past. So this is the Death card, really, so the ending of a situation. There are three ending cards here. This is so crazy. The, you've got the Death card here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is the 10, and you've got the 10 of Michael. So there are three endings. So this is a definite ending. Whatever's happened, the this is the end, the end, the end. That's what they're saying, really. So you have to release the past. There's much uh, more enriching future coming and let go and let God. So go with the flow. Just remember God's in the driver's seat and you are just the passenger in this car. So God has a plan and it's time for you to just stop crying over what had happened and move on. You've got the wheel of fortune over here, which says new beginnings, ends of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So this is a 10 and end of a cycle and a new beginning coming in for you. So although it's brought to the death card, uh, the death card has fallen showing there's an ending, but immediately following that is the wheel of fortune showing that there's a new beginning coming in for you over there. And you've got the 10 over here, the wheel of fortune as well, appearing in the main spreads. So definitely... Endings are heralding new beginnings. And the turn of Michael says the, the situation has ended. It's not that it will end. It has ended. And you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. So the death card and the turn of Michael saying this is finished and done with. Uh, put the past behind you and move forward. And there's a new opportunity coming. And the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring that opportunity for happiness and wealth and success and expansion. And you can see that right through the spread, you know, somebody offering you something really good. This could be an emotional offer that comes in. It could be a relationship, but something really good coming in for you uh, there. You know, you and this person are on the same level. You can see both these people are at ground level there. They're sitting on the ground 
and the cup is being offered full of flowers. So something really good coming in for you. So on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, on a financial level, but the most 